everyone and welcome back to my doll collecting channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my fashion doll collection. For those of you who are not familiar, fashion doll is a type of doll. Uh, Barbie is probably the most popular example of like a 12 inch doll that you can change the clothing and fashion for. So I'm not going to be showing my American Girls in this video. That is probably going to be saved for a different video. So what I'm going to be showing you is my Barbie movie collection dolls, my Barbie dolls, my Rainbow High, my Ever After High, my Bratz, my Monster High, and my Frozen collection. First I'm going to be showing you my Barbie movie dolls, which is currently one of my favorite parts of my collection right now. And one thing I want to preface with this collection is that Everything you see here, except for that in-box Barbie movie doll, is thrifted with one exception. This one I bought off of Facebook Marketplace. Everything else, oh, I'm sorry, this one I found off of Facebook Marketplace too. But everything else is from thrift stores. So first we have, and I kind of did it in rainbow order, so the pink, reds, and orange on this side, and then the blues and purples on this side. I might change this later, but this is what it is right now, and I'm pretty happy with it. Did lots of rearranging recently. But first we have my Barbie Fairy Topia dolls. So we have um, Elena, is it Elena or Eilina? I, oh, I don't remember. And then Nori from Mermaidia. Um, and then we have a Rapunzel doll. So not the movie Rapunzel, but the one from the 90s. Then we have my Barbie movie dolls from Barbie the movie directed by Greta Gerwig, starring Margot Robbie. And we have some other dolls there. We have two Barbie Princess Charm School dolls, one of the basic ones, but then the official one as well. So here we have two Barbie dolls that are not Barbie movie dolls, but they're modeling Barbie movie fashions. So um, this one right here with the red earrings is uh, modeling Odette's um, dress um, from the first part of the Swan Lake movie. Um, and then we have the Swan Lake basic doll. I had the actual doll that came with this um, when I was younger and I found it in a bag of Barbie clothes at a thrift store. Next we have Annika from Barbie Magic of the Pegasus and then we have Rosella from Island Princess. Then we have my two absolute favorite which is Annalise and Erica from Barbie Princess and the Popper. My absolute favorite Barbie movie ever and I found Annalise the same day I found um, Rosella at the thrift store and I've been waiting for years to find an Erica at a thrift store, never found her. So I ended up going to Facebook Marketplace, somebody was selling her. So, well, it was Facebook Marketplace, but they had to ship it to me. And um, yeah, it was still a good deal considering how much Erica goes on sale for on eBay. Um, so yeah, I love these two dolls and that's why they're in the very front of my Barbie movie doll collection. We also have this Barbie Island Princess doll that I got from Facebook Marketplace for $25, brand new in box. Somebody was just selling her and she still has this DVD coming out like late 2007. So cute. I love this doll. I would be so happy if I found any of the Barbie Princess and the Poppers brand new in box, but this is still really cool to have in my collection. Next we have my small Monster High collection. Um, I have the Creep production, uh, Draculaura, G1 Draculaura, because she's my favorite character. Um, then we also, this isn't Monster High, but I have my Twilight Jacob Barbie, which was thrifted back in the day. My mom found it at a thrift store when I was a preteen and got it for me. Um, so I'm really grateful to have that. We have this Frankie Stuffy. Um, my two, or I guess my three very first Monster High dolls ever. So we have um, like very first Frankie, then we have this beach doll, Jackie Laura, Laguna, then we have these other dolls here. Um, and yeah, Monster High isn't my favorite doll line. I mean, I like it, it's really cool, but it's just not like, like I'm not obsessed with it. Next we have my Frozen collection. So some of this stuff is not um, fashion dolls, but they're still Frozen related. So like a snow globe and a stuffy and these little, I don't know what to like, it's, oh, it's called a petite Elsa. I don't know, these little ones, you can get them from Walmart. And they're really cute. I also have a Raya one because Raya is one of my favorite Disney movies. 
Um, I love it a lot, so I got the toddler one for her as well. Um, but these dolls I all got for really great prices. So Kristoff, Anna, and Elsa I all got um, at the thrift store on the same day. Um, and I'm so happy about it because I really wanted these two frozen Elsa and Anna um, from the Disney Store exclusive. But they were always sold out. Like it was a huge deal that people were freaking out over these dolls. And I could not get a hold of them back in 2013. And I really, really wanted them. But I went to the Disney store and they were all sold out. And it was just so upsetting. But I was able to find them at a thrift store. So they are two of my favorite dolls in my doll collection. Then we also have these Frozen 2 dolls. And then we have the Special Collector one. Which I all got for $20, $22 each. Like all of them were 50% off. So um, I'm really happy about those. We got some Funko Pops. And just Frozen is like one of my favorite Disney movies. So I gotta have a lot of Frozen dolls. So next we have this whole shelf dedicated to some fashion dolls. So each section is a different kind of doll. So the very top we have um, my Barbie dolls and then also some of my, well, this is the rest of my Disney Store exclusive uh, dolls. This one is not Disney Store exclusive and I don't know if this one is, but the other ones are from the Disney Store. I specifically collect those ones because they have articulation. Oh, this one is also thrifted, but not. I could, like, the chance of me finding a Raya from the Disney Store is quite slim, um, but so that's why I got her from the thrift store anyways. But, um, so we have Barbie, we have my Rainbow High slash MGA shelf, and then we have my Ever After High which Ever After High is definitely one of my favorite doll lines ever. So I have lots of them because, well, they came out and I was really obsessed with them. So I, a lot of these are from my childhood and the rest are from thrift stores. But anyways, we have Holiday Barbie, my favorite Barbie growing up, Civil War Nurse Barbie. I know, Civil War Nurse Barbie, but she was like one of my favorites. We have a Barbie case from the 70s, some other Barbies here, like we have Snow White and Belle from the 90s, um, and we have Wizard of Oz Barbies. These are all thrifted, by the way, and Holiday Barbies. These are from my childhood, but also thrifted. The um, Ireland, Germany, and Paris Barbie, or France Barbie. And then we have this brand new Barbie, which I bought recently because she was celebrating 65 years of Barbie, and she was 12 bucks, and I thought she was really cute, so I thought I would get her. We have Video Girl Barbie, something like that. She's the really controversial one. I got her for a dollar at a um, uh, garage sale. Then we have my Anna Green Gables uh, Stacy doll and my Joe Stacy doll. Both are thrifted. This was a gift, but thrifted. And this was, um, I found thrifted. And then we have my Disney Princess dolls. Um, I put... Tinkerbell here, even though I feel like she should be, like, her movie was released in 2008. I'm putting her here first because Peter Pan came out first, and I, I think it would just break it up weirdly if I put, um, Tinkerbell would go right here, because they're in order of release. So Mulan, and then it goes to Raya. Um, so if I get more dolls, they'll go in order of release, and so that's why Tinkerbell is first, because Peter Pan technically came out before all these, but Tinkerbell should probably go right here at, before Tiana. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, that has been my Disney... These are all thrifted, by the way. Um, pretty much everything's thrifted. Now, my Rainbow High dolls are not thrifted. Most of them, if not all of them, all of these ones, yeah, I bought brand new, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and this is about maybe two-thirds of what my collection actually looked like before. I did have a whole bunch, but I did sell... Um, them to somebody and I'm really glad about that decision because now I have the ones that I really like and appreciate and I don't need to collect all of Rainbow High because I feel like that would be crazy. Um, but yeah, we have some inbox dolls here. The only one that I regret selling a little bit is Kia Heart, the special edition one, but eh, it's okay. Um, and then we have my new, this is very new, I just set this up like right before this video, and this is my MGA area um, with my Bratz dolls that I found thrifted. So I found some Bratz, Bratz Kids, Bratz Babies, a Moxie doll head, a Bratz cake topper which I've had for a while, um, and my Novi Star doll. So this is my MGA area. 
I mean, and this is the closest thing I can, like, Rainbow High is also MGA, so I thought I would put that stuff here. Sorry it's a little bit dark. I feel like due to the time of day and just where it's located, the lighting is not the best, but um, we have my Ever After High doll collection here, which is one of my favorite parts of my collection uh, because most of these are from my childhood. If they're not, they're thrifted. Um, but Madeline Hatter, Maddie Hatter, one of my favorite, or she is like my favorite Ever After High character. I also really like Blondie Locks. I love the doll, love the character. Apple is also a character that I really liked, but I just didn't want to admit that I liked her. She was just really entertaining. Um, Raven is also cool. Uh, Kitty Cheshire is another one of my favorite Ever After High characters. She might be my favorite. She might have been my favorite when I was a kid, and I really love the doll. I was so excited when they released this doll. Um, and I just had to have her. This is another gorgeous doll. I'm forgetting her name, but she's the daughter of Pinocchio. Love this doll so much. She is so cute. All the details, how it looks like her legs are made out of wood. So cute. Little cricket um, hair clip. So cute. Love this doll. Um, I can't remember her character too much, but I just love this doll so much. Cupid is also another one that's really cute. See, a Cupid. Duchess Swan is actually the first doll that I bought as an adult because I kind of stopped collecting dolls as a teenager. It was my, around my 20th birthday, and I found her at a thrift store, and I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, I didn't know they made a Duchess doll, and I thought, naively, if I bought her, then I would have the complete collection of Ever After High. Yeah, no. <laughs> There's a lot of dolls that I don't have. Um, but yeah, she didn't exist when I was collecting Ever After High. But then we have Izzy Hart. Um, this is the only doll that I went, like, she was at face on Facebook Marketplace and I drove to go pick her up. Everything else is either bought when I was a kid or from the thrift store. I also have this doll. This is probably my newest doll. I don't even know what she's called, but she is part of the Wonderland collection. These two dolls I remember getting from my childhood. Love them so much. Um, same thing, well, Ashlyn Ella and Hunter Huntsman were my first ever after high dolls ever. Um, and yeah, I remember opening them up Christmas and then I went to my aunt's house and then I got um, Apple White. Oh my goodness, it was so awesome. And then my cousin got me Maddie Hatter and I got some other dolls and it was just fantastic. A fantastic Christmas, 2013 was amazing. Um, around Christmas time, the rest of the year was not that great. But that Christmas was fantastic because it was definitely an ever after high Christmas, which was fantastic. <laughs> Is it Charisse Hood? Um, and she has this big stain on her hood and I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I should try cleaning it up. I really feel like I should just go through all my collection everywhere and just tidy up, like pick the dolls that need some magic eraser, clean some of the clothes, just do a big tidy up. Hopefully I'll do that after summer's over because I work in theater, so it is crazy chicken town right now. That is just a term of phrase that I have been, have made up and have been using. Um, so it's just crazy this time of year so if you work in theater, so it's just crazy. So I don't have a lot of time right now, but in the fall, once my fall job um, picks up, I'll have more time, I hope. Um, but yeah, so I gotta do a big cleaning of like my collection. So, you know, probably do laundry of my American Girl clothes and stuff. So yeah, I don't know if you can put stuff in the washing machine, but it would make my life so much easier. Anyways, I think I'm just rambling on. That has been all of my fashion dolls in my collection. If you have any specific requests of dolls you want to see or parts of my collection you want to see, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. I will be doing an American Girl version, American Girl All My Dolls video soon. But for now, I thought I would film this video because maybe some of you might find it interesting even though I mostly talk about American Girl. If you want to see more doll collecting videos, make sure to hit subscribe. Also, make sure to follow my Instagram. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.